Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to today's edition of Intuitive Angling and hope you guys are having a good day and really appreciate y'all swinging by the channel to check the video out today. Uh, guys, if you were not already disgusted enough by what uh, forward-facing sonar has done to our sport over the last couple of years, uh, prepared to be disgusted at a whole new level because uh, there was something that, that was uh, shown at ICAST, the ICAST uh, tackle convention a couple weeks ago down in Orlando, Florida, that's going to take the outrage of this to a whole new level. So I'm going to show you guys the clip of that here just in a second. And actually this clip, I, I probably had 50 guys forward me this clip. So I'm just passing it along to you guys if you haven't seen it. And then um, after I show it to you, we're going to come back and I'll give you guys some commentary on it. Um, also guys, just a quick reminder out there. Um, we've only got a couple more days left in the a, a July sale on my Solar Bat Series RB2 and RB3 Series sunglasses. If you guys are interested in getting a pair, you can get them at 30% off. Uh, by the end of if you get them by the end of july and you can get a second pair at 60 percent off so it's a really good deal i'll put my solar bat link in the description of the video if you want to check those out okay guys let's take a look a quick look at this clip here then i'll be right back and give you some commentary so check it out new product that's coming out called track cast what it does is it it's going to mount to your fishing rod and anywhere you move the fishing rod the live scanner moves so what you can do, you turn it on, and if you'll watch this arrow on the, on the uh, live scanner, everywhere we move fishing rod is where the live scanner is. So we can make it pass, and we can take and reel and follow our lure all the way back to the boat. You only get that. Okay, guys, uh, in my opinion, that was absolutely sickening to watch that. It just disgusted me to see it. And before I start commenting, I want to say one thing. I don't have anything against this dude on the video. I don't even know who he is. Probably a really good guy. I don't, I'm not talking specifically about this rod that can direct your cheater box now. What I'm talking about, the point of why I wanted to show you that video was to speak to the bigger picture of these technological advances that are coming at us at a rapid pace right now. We talked about this a lot on the channel. It's like we are, they, the, since the electronic companies do not have any reins on them whatsoever, and they, they basically can just do anything they want to, and the tournament organizations are not gonna say anything about it, they're just, they're trying to advance this technology as fast as they can to make more and more money. And why don't they just cut to the chase? Guys, why don't they forget all about forward-facing sonar, and they can just design an AI robot. This robot goes in the boat with you, it drives your boat if you want it to, it tells you exactly where to go. It tells you exactly where to fish. It gets up in the front of the boat for you. Put your trolling motor down. It actually, ma it'll make your cast for you so you, don't, so you don't even have to bother with casting. It'll even wipe your butt if you need to go to the bathroom. Why don't they just do that? Because that's what they're doing. They are taking every pure and intrinsic and holistic value of fishing away from us and destroying it. They're turning it into something that is completely unrecognizable. And if you watch that video, and if you're not offended by having your rod and reel be able to point your spotlight at a bass that you don't know is out there, that's roaming out there in their deep water sanctuary that they need to have out there, then you can throw out there, you know, line up, your rod tells you exactly where to make the cast, you watch your bait go down, you watch the fish react to the lure, you don't even have to feel the strike. You see these guys on the Elite Series, they set their hook without even feeling the strike when they see the fish on their cheater box bite. It is disgusting. It is, it, like I said, if you're not outraged and disturbed by that on the deepest level of your being, you need to reevaluate your entire worldview on fishing. So I just wanted to pass that along to you guys, just a quick video. I'm disgusted by it. This is the, the big, it's the start of it. I mean, this is gonna be coming more and more and more all the time until until they're stopped you know that's the whole thing about it until the electronic companies are forced to um to operate within the parameters of having this technology banned in competitive fishing then you're going to see this go all on and on and on here's another thing about it guys mark my words on this right now we saw last week you saw a boat that i showed you a picture of that had sixty thousand dollars worth of electronics how much how much longer do you think it's going to be before guys have $100,000 worth of electronics on their boat. It's not gonna be any time at all. What's gonna happen is they're gonna develop a piece of advanced technology that's gonna be outrageously priced and the guys will buy it up. They'll, they'll just buy it up and eventually, 
you know, it's going to be the norm to have $100,000 worth of electronics on your boat unless the tournament organizations put a stop to it, which they can. So write to them, guys. Send them emails. Call them up on the phone. Do whatever you need to do to, to get that in their ear. And um, we'll just keep fighting the good fight, guys. I'll just, bring, I'll just bring this stuff to your awareness all the time. And again, like I said before, make no mistake about it. If you're on the side of the anti-forward-facing sonar, the anti-tech movement and fishing, you are fighting the good fight. Don't, don't ever let anyone tell you that you're not because you're going to be seen in the hit. When, when this is all done and said with, they're going to look, history is going to reflect back and they're going to see the people that fought against this technology as the heroes that saved the sport and the people that tried to perpetuate it as the villains in the sport. So anyway, let me know what you guys think about it. Check in later. See you.